greatest masterpieces by composer Giuseppe Verdi. The opera Rigoletto tells the story of the Duke of Mantua. And this weekend is your chance to see the opera live on stage right here in Las Vegas. That's right. We have a real tenor in studio with Woo! us today playing the role of the Duke of Mantua, the opera singer himself, Kirk Doherty. Along with him is conductor B uh, Greg Buhalter. Yep. It's close enough. There we, we go. We accept it. it. We got it. Gentlemen, how are you? Well, Good. thank you. Uh, I was hearing you uh, warming up the pipes earlier. Oh, thanks. So, like, the windows were shattering. It was unreal. <laughs> uh, wow. So what, oh, what, what makes this continue to be such a popular opera? Well, at its, at its heart, it's a story about a father who loves his daughter mm -hmm. and does not want to see any harm to that daughter. That's, and it's a story of life. Yes, yeah. and I play probably a pretty bad guy, the Duke <laughs> of Mantua, who is just a, a womanizing guy, and uh, Rigoletto, the court jester, works for me, and at some point, this story gets to a point where he has to do something, and so he he wants to get very even with the Duke. See, he's, he's the wow. reason I'm so happy I had a son. Not you, <laughs> oh, no, not you the character. I, I know, no, truly. <laughs> so Gregory. it's a vengeance story. Yes, of course. Oh, my goodness, is it ever. Gregory, you uh, c come to us from the Metropolitan. Yes. Uh, this is just terrific to have you here in Las Vegas. You have worked on Rigoletto before. In uh, in, in other productions? Yes, I've done it many times. I must say, this is ironic because I just came from the Metropolitan Opera where we did a whole run of Rigoletto. Oh, wow. We um, have a production set in Las Vegas. It's a Michael what? Mayer production who's a Broadway director, and it's from the 50s. The Rat Pack is involved, Marilyn oh. Monroe is in it, and so when I said to everybody, my colleagues, oh, I'm going to Vegas to conduct Rigoletto, they said, oh, the Vegas production, right? <laughs> so what's great is that we're doing a traditional production here, not the Vegas production in Vegas. Vegas, which is how fun. <laughs> which is yeah. very so, funny. And now that you're here in Vegas, does it remind you of the production? Are you? Are you well, I do hit the casinos a little too often. So <laughs> that's what it does because our <laughs> whole set is set Vegas. in the casinos. There's no set income yes. tax, but they'll get you. <laughs> uh, th this is all about opera, Las Vegas. So there's, there's no Las Vegas version. This is keeping to the the core of opera here in our town. Tell us yeah. about Opera Las Vegas. Oh, it's a great company, and we we have had such a wonderful time working together. The cast uh, of fantastic group of singers. So Young Park as Gilda, uh, Michael Chioldi as uh, Rigoletto, mm -hmm. uh, Ruben Casas as Sparo Fucile, and... Uh, Sparo uh, Fucile! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Daniel Marcel <laughs> Bond as Madeleine. Ago. It's delicious. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have a microphone here. However, yes. will you be using a microphone there? No. Do you no. need it? No, no. Um, it would be really loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah, loud opera singers know how to project. That's yes, kind of what our do. training is all about, yeah. right? So we, we do it without anything. The only reason we have this here is so you could hear it at home, of course. Yes, so, yeah. no doubt. I was fascinated to learn, Sean, the shows this weekend are Friday night okay. and Sunday. I said, well, why isn't there a show Saturday night? Because... In it's, fact, it's actually healthier for the voice. There yeah, we go. To take yeah. they need to rest. So human beings yeah. that are singing yeah. and they need vocal rest mm -hmm. for definitely between yeah. performances. You'll understand why. Flesh yes. and blood. Yeah. Very soon, you'll understand That's right. why. You're going to perform for us now. What are you going to perform? This is La Donna Immobile from oh. the last act of Rigoletto. So, you know this one. Yeah, just so everybody knows, it's probably the most famous tenor aria famous tune in all of opera. Yep. Paparazzi, who I actually got to work with this at no. the end. No, made you it, didn't. Yeah, absolutely. Made it very famous. Any recording of his, you might buy, Aria recording will have this featured. Fantastic. Um, and, you know, in its day, it was like a Beyonce or, a Beyonce or Adele song today where you turn the radio on and there it was playing. The marching bands or all the bands in, in every square in Italy would be playing this tune. It was so popular. A, a very short description of working with Pavarotti. What was that like? Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, he, I mean, first all that voice yeah. it, you would just yeah. melt when you would hear that sound he was he was great to work with he he knew who he was mm -hmm. you know he wanted to be treated as you know Luciano of course. but and, but he was just great to work with there there are I'll tell you a funny story the, in Tosca when he's when I'm he's, sorry we have to get to yeah, okay, okay. I'm okay. So sorry. we'll save the, the Pavarotti See, stories I, for I next time the Pavarotti box. <laughs> our Pavarotti is about to perform there you yes. go Take it away. there we go guys Thank you. Mudo de 
Yes! That was fantastic. Wow. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. So there's people Just all around, beautiful. but a half oh, mile radius awesome. of here. Wow. Getting out of their car saying, where is that sound Where was that from? voice? Uh, thank you so much. A total thank pleasure. You. Opera Las Vegas presents wow. Rigoletto this Friday evening and a Sunday matinee, folks, at the Judy Bailey Theater on the campus of UNLV. For tickets, call the box office. The number is right there on your screen. It's so nice to... I hear an opera performance and be like, I know this one. This I is know. Good. That's what I said. <laughs> it's great. It's great. Yeah. Uh,